Hi, this is Peter Morgan from the DJPodcast.com. In this video for Wing Sound, we're going to be looking at how to create beat grids in Native Instruments Tractor Pro 2. You want to start off by first loading a track into one of your decks that doesn't have a beat grid or has an auto grid that was automatically generated by Tractor when you analyzed your track. Next, you want to load up the grid options. Click this button underneath the active button on a particular deck. This will open up the advanced options. Go over and select the grid tab. And this will open up all of the different options for your particular grid. You want to make sure that you delete the auto grid before inserting your own beat grid. You can do that by simply clicking on this trash can icon. That will clear out the beat grid that Tractor automatically created and allow you to insert your own manually. Next, we're going to zoom in to the very first beat of our track. So we'll simply move over near the beginning and we're just going to hold the plus button until we're zoomed in all the way. You can see that there are two white lines that Tractor thinks are the beats. Here and here. But we can clearly see that that's incorrect and we'll fix this with our beat grid. Let's position the playhead so that it's at the very beginning of this beat. Click and drag on the track until you get the playhead right next to the beginning of the beat. It's okay if there's a little bit of space because Tractor will take that into account when you're creating your beat grid. Before we actually create the grid itself, we want to make sure that our track BPM is set correctly. You can see below that we have the track BPM at 128. If this was a little bit off at let's say 127.9, double click, insert the correct BPM, and then click enter. It's important to have the correct BPM set in the grid options because Tractor will be using that information when it creates the grid. After you check that your BPM is set correctly, you want to go ahead and insert a beat marker. You can do that by clicking on the golf tee looking icon next to the trash can. We have a new beat grid marker at the very beginning of our track before the first beat. Most dance music is set on a grid and doesn't have any tempo inconsistencies, but you want to make sure that your beat grid is set correctly throughout the track. You can do this by simply clicking on the waveform stripe and checking in a few different places. Let's check somewhere shortly after the beginning, and that's set correctly. Somewhere in the middle, also set correctly, and right near the very end. And again, it's set right before the beginning of that beat. If your beat grid is slightly to the left or right of a beat, you can go ahead and change the position of that beat marker. You want to use these two buttons right here. This will move the beat grid to either the left or to the right by a very small amount. And this will allow you to fix any inconsistencies. Now once you're done creating your beat grid, you want to make sure that you lock it so that you don't accidentally change it in the future. Click on the padlock icon and that will lock the beat grid. Check out more of my videos at thedjpodcast.com. Join the conversation by following Wink Sound on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube to keep up with everything you need to know about music and audio technology.